Is this Sodi Deer Camp? On the same. Yeah, he's so hopeful. No storm 50 degree weather, he's hopeful he's going to get the sleds out. It's going to be colder than you think. It's a lot colder than you think. No, it's uh, not. Yeah, it is. I'll say it now. Mike's going to get up on my morning. But it's really cold out here, guys. No, no, oh, no. Yeah. Off. Yeah, it's the vid. Now we rolling next? Yes, sir. We are at camp. Finally getting unpacked. We're gonna get a drink. We're gonna get a drink <laughs> and probably play some uh, dice. For a little bit, we got a little thing. If you've watched our videos from the past, uh, from past from seasons, the ass. <laughs> no, no, it's not allowed. From past seasons, we have a little thing up here called Card Champ, which every time you win, whether it be a flop of dice or a, any game, yeah, cards, any anything, you get a tally mark, and then whoever at the end of the season has the most tallies, which usually, if you turn it around, is that woman right there, right in the window. Yeah, she is the card shark. Well, she plays all the time, so. But, but she uh, wins all the time. She does. Just because you play all the time doesn't mean you yeah. win. That's no, true. Win. She does win. <laughs> it feels good to be unpacked and be up here. It's too warm. It is warm. It is 60 degrees out. But it's going to be a lot cooler tomorrow, and it's going to be even cooler on Saturday. So. Yeah, cool and down as we go. Actually, the forecast shows cooler tomorrow and then warmer again on Saturday. 20s by midweek next week. Then snow. That's, snow what, snow too that's when the deer are going to move. That's when we'll kill snow. them all. Seeing a deer, look at that guy. Oh, we got a monster already. Yep. Hit that one on the road. That's another video if you want to go see that one. Check it out. There's a lot of cards up there. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Shit. Three. Five. 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 Oh, <laughs> Mike sucks. Mike's out. Okay, Paja. I'm good. I'm good. Damn it, why couldn't you have been good? Seven. Seven, Paul, what do you got? Okay. Seven. Burn on it, Joaquin. 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 Right away. That's it. Uh, hot. Okay, Jake, what is your prediction for the number of deer and how many bucks, how many does? Seven deer. Oh, wow. Aiming high. Oh, yeah. What's the little oh, one? Bucket. Five does and two bucks. Well, two that's probably bucks. pretty accurate. Who the hell yeah. should have made those? <laughs> this guy's got three. What? Okay, one second. Two bucks. That's six right and there. And five does? Yeah. I got a They should have made those around and kick him in the butt. You know how many hot sticks that made? Yeah. How much jerky I made? Real good. Okay. Can't eat the horns. So we have the following predictions. Me and me and Dad both said the same thing. Five deer, three bucks, two does. Mike, six deer, three bucks, three does. Mm. Nick, six deer, three bucks, three does. Mm. Oh. Mitchell, five deer, two bucks, three does. Looks like it's going to be three does. That's all I'm thinking, three does. Me and Dad only said two does. Okay, three. two and a half does. Yep. Something's gonna die. Yep. New area, new territory. I think there's gonna be too many people running around. We're gonna see deer. We've hunted. Something's gonna die. We've hunted this ground. I mean, we've been hunting these forever area for a long, long time, but we've never sat there like designated. That's where we're gonna go opening day. So that's gonna be a change for us. We see deer there. Maybe. We will see. I came to mom. I'm like, I know I've just seen it, but I can't remember where I put it. Like, where is that knife? 
I went through the fanny pack twice and I kept looking in and I'd open the zipper and there's the, the pruning shears and the limb saw. Here the knife was underneath that. I was going to take it to Ohio and I, I'm like decided, no, nope, I'll take the backpack. This will stay here. So it was like, I bet you an hour of so looking all over for that knife for and that. it was in the fanny pack the whole while. So this is kind that of like another that. tradition is to have the biscuits and gravy. That happens. How to have biscuits and gravy. Got to get that pour right there. Put the egg on. Can't Mago, be Mago. How's that going? We're getting a good breakfast in here. And I head out and get everything set up outside and then head back and get all our stands set up. So, looks, in the room. looks good. I better dig in there before it's all gone. Catch you on <laughs> the flip side later. Camp's all set. Camp's not set so you put the flags up. That's right. So, what do we get going on here, Nick? Just getting my stand ready. Never, uh... I did not. Never gun hunted out of my camera before. No. I did one year and I saw a bunch of does and... I gun hunted out of a climber once, my old tree lounge. It's comfortable. Normally we have stands set this year, we're going in. Mobile. Say so this is something all new for us. Yeah. Changing her up. Come on, bracket on. Good thing going with the saw. I have one in the cabin. But... All right, we are gonna. Oh, I got the old light going. There we go. That's out. Hopefully tomorrow night that thing's just a glowing because we got bucks hanging. Or does or whatever we can see if we can get it on film. B D D. L D D. L D D. Little dog. Right. We are gonna head back to our locations and uh, we will catch up with you out there. Absolutely shredded with scrapes and rubs. So that's a real good sign. Oh, yeah. but, uh, not many people signing up, so that's good. About a hundred yards or so, and it'll be the spot where I'm going to eye blind up. And then we're going to move from there and find Jake's spot. I have arrived at my location that I scouted out a month and a half ago, and uh, surprise, surprise, there's literally a stand in the exact spot I was going to sit. So now we got to rethink what we want to do here and try to find a new spot that doesn't have someone sitting in it. So, all right, back to the drawing board. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, spot number two for the morning looked uh, real promising. We got up, uh, me and Mike both had pinned a, a ridge that we thought would be good if spot one didn't work out like it didn't. So there's already someone there. Anyway. So we went to that spot and uh, we both had pins on it, so we went up there and it looked really good. We had how many rub? A lot of rubs. Or a lot of uh, scrapes. scrapes. Fresh ones with not, still in them. Not as many scrapes as there was in spot one. Yeah. But these scrapes, I mean, like I said, they got pissed, they're still wet. Yeah. And then the rubs still had the bark on top of the leaves and with the 50 mile an hour winds yesterday, that means they're fresh. Because <laughs> that would have been all blown up. But, uh, yeah, really good deer sign going in there, right near the thick bottom. Almost a thousand yard walk back out to the truck. Yeah. So hey, we averaged two miles an hour though. We're hoofing her for some big boys. We're gonna we drop the pin where our spots are gonna be and we're gonna loop around yep. to the other road, which should be a little cut, little up, cut our distance That's about, in half. About 500 yard walk in from that side. Yep. So we're definitely not gonna be, you know, 
right off the road. Pumping 50 yards off the road like some of the guys do. But the ridge looked really good. We got, Mike's gonna overlook a real thick swamp bog on one side and I got basically the same view on the other side. Yeah, like I said, I don't think we should have checked, uh, well, we can check the pins when we get yeah. there to see how far apart we are, but we're probably no more than, I would say 150 maybe. 150, 200 yards apart, but yeah. we're, it's such a drastic ridge that we're covering complete opposite ends. Yep. So it should be good. We'll uh, catch back up to you when we get on the other side here. Loaded down. Headed in. Watch yourself. All these little whips. Sting on the skin in the cold weather. Alright, we're in the onyx. We got about 500 yards in this direction. And we should reach our destination. So, we'll see you in there. Well, we got my blinds all set up. I don't have the uh, normal blind topper because three different stores I went to down home were all sold out. So I bought two giant XL vests for four dollars each, and voila, we got orange or topper. We got orange. We got our 12 inches on each side. Plenty. We are safe. Yep. We are legal. So, all right, well, we got it all set up and we'll be looking kind of same thing as Mike, just mirrored around. Big thick bottom here, slashings, and that's the trail goes through there where we had the uh, scrapes and rubs. Yep. Let's see, right here is a saddle yep. that comes through. I can see that side of it, Jake can see this side of it. So, unless they come directly up the middle, then it's going to be a crapshoot for whoever gets to shoot at it. But I think they're going to come in, they're either going to circle this way around yep. or they're going to circle that way around. And then on this side we got a little more open wood, but still pretty thick. You got a bog down got there, bog some pine here. thickets. It's real boggy on the other side of there. And the, uh, the yeah. first original spot that we walked into, where that stand was already said, is about 600 yards that there's way. Side, this big bottom goes down and comes back up, and that's where that is. So, hopefully the deer come out this side. Hopefully. It looks good. Just like heard it. from Nick Mitch and Dad, they're out wrapping up their spots. So we're gonna grab our stuff, head back to the middle, and then try to look at the truck. So yeah, anticipation is building for tomorrow morning. I'm pretty excited. I'm more excited now than I've been in a while for opening day. I mean, I'm always, I'm always excited for opening day, but this is kind of a new adventure for us. And mm -hmm. I said, I was just telling Jake, it's, it's more of the anticipation of what's here we didn't have we have zero cameras I literally dropped a pin on the map walked in okay looks good for the last 20 years since we've been running cameras we've had okay we know there's this buck this buck this buck all of these bucks okay we know we have like you said it could be a one horn spike it could be a 12 pointer that comes through we no have no idea we're up in the big up in the big woods now we went from the swamps to the big hardwoods but we still kind of go back to the swamps because we're always looking for the thick. <laughs> Hunting them transition areas. It's, it's just in our blood. We always look for the thick stuff. So, uh, all right. We will see you back at the truck. We got one stand set. It's not exactly what I was thinking, but I think it'll work. It's uh, definitely thicker than what I remembered it being. Or what I thought it would be once the leaves drop, but we go this way, Dad, or that way? The trail goes down. This way, okay. So now we're going in further to where we're thinking Mitch is going to sit, so Let's see what we can find. Where right, Dad is. Dad is going to take his stuff, he's going to go up on top of this knob. See what you can see. The nice spot is a little swampy bottom here, swampy bottom here, ridges, and it's all just rolling through here. And there's a lot of sign, there's a scrape. 
Where do we see that scrape? There's a club, there's a scrape here that's active, another one there, and then right up there. There's a lot of buck sign here, and uh, just from history, I think if you like to sneak through all these crazy bottoms and thick stuff like this. So now we're gonna go up a little bit, cut to the east, and try to find a spot to match. I think we get up on the other side of those pines on that Yeah, knob. see them big pines up yep. there? I think we get up there, it's a whole other hill. And then I could be looking on the back side of that hill. So we we'll get over there and see what that looks like. We found a spot for Mitch to sit. We got... We might have to tighten her up to the full tights. Yeah, even then I think it'll be good. So... He's going to be <clears throat> in this tree here, up on top, this is kind of a little, just a little knob here. If I can get up here without falling on my butt. <laughs> you can see all that bottom there. You can see the slashings down in there. And there's a, a, a saddle that comes over the top here. There's a pond down in there. And then the next saddle comes over here. And we're coming down the logging road over here on the other side of this. There was two big what they buck tracks chasing a doe come over and they come right down this. They, they always come right down this bottom. So Mitch is going to be sitting in this tree, he's going to face that way, and he'll be able to cover all of this. I think it's going to be a pretty sweet spot. Me and Dad scouted this last year, and Dad was going to sit a little bit that way, and I was going to sit a little bit that way. But then we found our other spots, so I'm kind of glad we came over here because Mitch is going to be right in the center of this now. So we're all set. We're gonna get back out to the road and uh, head out and head to Tomahawk, get some burgers. We didn't make it in time for the burger feed. They uh, they ran out of burgers, so we're gonna have to go find a bar to eat at. But pretty cool event that they hold here. It's pretty cleaned out already. Wow, that's a heck of a turnout. But uh, an hour. we got some white claws, that's all they have left for drinks. We're buying some raffle tickets, we have a drink or two, and then go we'll find a place to eat. All right, we had a good meal down in Tommy Hawk. Boys are starting to fire over there. You guys are working on a heater for mom. So, <clears throat> we're just getting things set. We gotta go. Oh, I gotta try to find some wire, but we're gonna go get mom's stand set. Get her set up with a heater. Probably be the only one that need one, needs one tomorrow. And uh, relax, play some cards. Probably not stay up too late tonight. Hey, what are you doing? Trying to find wire. Yeah, that's what I came for, too. So, right here. Oh, there you go. Oh, perfect. perfect spool. There yeah. you go. Alright, so we'll get that taken care of. We're going to go get mom's stand set, check another camera or two that are on property here. And then uh, have some good supper for tonight and get ready for the morning. Big day. Where Mike and his cell cam. That's great that the bucks have been hidden. As you can see, down here, covers all this. So, she's had a pretty good buck here the last couple of years. So, with any luck, she'll get a shot at one again. Going for the best. Which is fine, I'm thinking, the burger is starting to grill or not? <laughs> no burgers this year, we're doing pulled venison sandwiches. Changing her up, huh? I told them, you know, it's really traditional. Burgers on Friday night are a deer camp tradition, though. We'll see. Barbecued venison or not? Yep. Mom's got some salmon. No, exactly. Changing it up. That's the same thing I'm making. What? Huh. Alright, let's get down to business.
Okay, so how does this work? I, I told you. shake one dice at a time. And you gotta say which Wait, side it is. Go? Left side, right side. You gotta go block it with your head. Oh, you gotta you're looking at it. Over this way, honey. <sighs> okay. You guys over on your side. Oh, right side. Oh, that's a vote. Didn't spill a drop, did I? <laughs> yeah, you did. Here. Three. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, this is the right side. Ready? Which side? Oh. Right side. Looking at it. Right side behind oh, it. Oh, no. We're no. Whoop, whoop. This is <laughs> another year. Another year. Another year. Another year. Another year. Year's always looking Let's at you. Let's hope for a right two. Side. Or a one. Or it's no, the right side of the deer. You're holding the rack. The right side of the deer. So it's away from you. Are you holding it? Are you looking at it? Or are you oh, saying it? That's what I said. My left or your left? Yes, yes, yes. A one. <laughs> My right or your left? Go for a two. So it's from looking two, at the deer. Lord, at the, two, my lord. Two. The deer's right. Six. So the right side of the deer. The so deer, you're holding it like this. It's this side. You're side. sitting on the deer. It's on the right so side. It's going to be yep, it's this and that Six. Six on one side. Oh, oh yeah. I'm on the left side, yeah, boys. Yeah, throwing again. Yeah. Looks like Don't it's the money. Be a you know, honestly, it's if it's... Away, it's going to <laughs> if it's... At least last year I shook good numbers. <laughs> hey, we if guys it's double maybe digits, get I'm They're thinking no we should reshape. that one. Am but I right? right? There's always that chance, no, guys. Like that this chance. Is, I'm, you never know. Old bossy no, horn, come walking I'm over good. and you'll shoot. Not up the hill, but maybe down here. Oh, look at I got a 11 point. I had a 12 point last year. He's, he's, got, a, he's got a 10. He's, he's got some goofy stuff going on. He might have 6 11. 6 11? 6 and 5 for 11. Are you going with Biden, Matt? I mean, for sure, at least 10. 6 11. But he's got some goofy with his beard. Yeah. Where? Up by my spot. Let's see, I know it's Whoopi Goldberg numbers. You got 75 11 guns? 6 11. 6 11. 60 11 guns. They shoot 150 rounds in 15 seconds. Shoot a deer with an AR 15, it's junk. You must just throw away. So I, don't no, I want one of those win. guns. Likely right. nobody's going to be winning the bounty box this year. You know what? Right. Yeah. This this is when somebody will win. This is like more than a shot. Well, for you it is. It is. Oh, I, you know I had like three beers all the time. That was it. It's very honorable. Well, you don't hunt with the right guys then. No, I don't need a drink. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You'll sleep. I will good have tonight. you know. Last night, I Mom will let you cards. smell the cup. Huh? When we were playing cards, I got everybody. <laughs> get here. over here, last night. Right? Yeah, yeah, get up here. You uh, got to kick off the 2023 20, season, right? Cough medicine. Cough medicine. Hey. Good luck, everybody. Good luck, good luck. Good luck. Here we are. Be safe. Stay Stay good luck. Good luck, guys. Big Buck's gonna die. That's right. It's cough medicine. I'm gonna get to Ooh, smell it. Pretty good. Not bad. Mm. Oh, it does smell good. like 11 pointer. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Blueberry. That warms your anyway, right up. Holy shit, I was thinking about a nice 8 pointer. <laughs> that was a nice spiker. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> well, it's yeah, opening yeah, morning. You don't get your socks, they're dirty. Opening morning, 2023. Big, roll. big hopes, big hopes. Yeah, got it. Some dreams. Right. 5 o'clock in the morning, 20 degrees. Been asked for better. Yeah, 5:14. It's 5:14. We are already behind schedule. We gotta go. So everybody, be safe. Yep. Safe. You too. And we'll meet back here. Yep. Good luck. Yep. And see what. There was a doe on the fourth plot about an hour ago. Nice. Good luck. Love you. Behind. Good the luck, scenes. everybody. Be safe, everybody. Love you guys. Everybody's got the radios. Got radios. Got keep me posted. Yep. There was a time we used to take four wheelers out, now they're heading to a different area. Now we're going in trucks. Now they're going in trucks. In trucks, there's our Camp Hilltop sign. Let's roll. Hopefully luck, tonight. Love you. love you too, good luck. We'll get the light going on the We'll get the light going on the deer pool tonight. Heading on out. Frosty morning.
We got guys here. Yeah. All over. There's a guy walking in straight towards Jake. I got a guy and a kid that are sitting about 200 yards away from me. So, yeah, this should be interesting. Well, hopefully, the deer come from the west. That's all we can hope. So, uh, all right, we'll get in our blinds and we'll, uh, we'll see you in there. Yep. here.
always what you want. A wolf come literally two yards away from me. That's a good sign, yeah. Excellent. I thought I heard something. And uh listen, I can see it moving, I'm like, where's I'm coming? First I thought it was a coyote. But uh no, that's a big puppy. Uh, well, I guess we'll just wait and see. He went down on these slashings, so maybe he'll stir up a deer. <laughs> Neat. seen a wolf already. We had guys sitting pretty close to us here. They parked right where we parked. Walked in the same side of the road. But yeah, it's been a great start. Haven't heard much shooting. It's pretty, it's probably about five to ten mile an hour west wind, so it's kind of cold. But it's a uh, I heard some. Just squirrels. Anyway. Yeah, it's going to be a nice sunny day. Should warm up to about 50 degrees. So we will sit here and wait and see what starts moving around. They said they had some guys move in by them, but boy, I would have to imagine it has to be one of them. Alright guys, I shot a buck. It happened really, really quick. I thought I heard some. I turned and I looked. I seen a big buck cutting across the ridge behind me. I didn't have time to do anything with cameras. I just grabbed my gun quick. Got up, I shot, it dropped, but it must have hit its spine or something. It was kicking, 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 coming down the hill. It was kind of facing at me up like this, and I put it on its neck and shot, and it hasn't moved since. So I'm hoping it didn't hit in the head. It's a big, big buck. It's really big. At least I think it's really big. <clears throat> One of my biggest bucks ever, I think. 
So I'm waiting for Dad. He's getting down. He's coming to me. I just need to calm down a little bit. So he's coming to me. He's gonna help me get my stuff down. We're gonna go over. I can see him laying dead. Things keep getting crazier. I had dad coming over to help me with that buck and he jumped another buck out of his way. He was right here in Wisconsin. You can party hunt when you're in sight. The buck came across, he didn't get a shot at it. And I asked him if he wanted me to shoot. He said, yeah. So there's another buck he made on that hillside over there and I shot. Not 100% sure on that one. I know this one over here is dead. That one, I'm not 100% sure. So we will, uh, we'll see. He's gonna walk over now to where I shot and look for blood and see what we can find. We know we got this one dead. So, let me keep my eyes peeled in case something jumps up. All right, it sounds like uh, Nick's got the big one down. And then, um, <clears throat> he, got a, he got a shot in into the spike and dad is tracking that buck now. I am going to go over and I'm going to help Nick recover and take care of this, this Northwoods monster. And uh, I can't wait to get over there and see it. So I'm moving through the woods probably a little quicker than I should be. But man, I can't freaking wait. So I'm going to uh, put the camera down and focus on where I'm walking. Get over there and I'll start videotaping when we get back there. Oh, come on, man. Carry all that camera gear in and you don't even film it? <laughs> you weren't worried about it? Is he pretty big? Yeah, he was pretty big. He had long time. What the best way? Can you see him there? The body through there? Oh shit! Holy oh, fuck! If that's the rack I'm seeing. So he was up on top of those pine trees when I shot him. So I was sitting there. Dude. Yeah. You lucky bastard. Yeah, that's really big, Nick. That's. I'm, I'm thinking so. Oh, holy shit. Dude. That's a freaking monster. Are you kidding me? Dude. That's freaking huge. Holy shit, Nick! Oh my god, dude! <gasps> Holy shit! Oh my god! Are That's you the kidding me, dude? I've ever seen out here. <laughs> I had no idea he was that big. I didn't think he was that fucking big. Holy no. Fuck. Look at that freaking thing. Look at the mass. Dude. Oh my god, double split G2s? Damn. Wow. Are you freaking kidding me? Holy shit. <laughs> well, you better be getting that mounted. Oh, yeah. Look at the size of the freaking body. Oh, I did run this time, huh? So I hit him back a little bit. Was he running when you shot? No. No, he was walking real. Right yeah, he was walking. Holy he was shit, dude. There's somewhere here, I think right here he come down. There you can see blood. He worked his way down. Holy shit. That's the biggest fucking buck I've seen back here. Yeah. Dude, that is something you dream about. Yeah. You ain't kidding, dude. So, this, we got him. Way bigger than I, than I thought he was when I shot. Yeah. I've just seen that. This is the side that was to me when I shot. And I kind of had the image in my head that I thought I seen as a 10 point frame when I seen, but as soon as I seen what he was, I was shooting. I was sitting over on that ridge and he was up behind me here. 
and I shot my first shot, I spined him. He dropped and he actually kind of wiggled, flopped, we're gonna say, down the hill towards me and I shot him again in the neck on the other side. But uh, yeah, he's big. Yeah. Definitely my biggest buck ever up here. My biggest buck with the gun. Might be my biggest buck ever. I think he's your biggest buck ever. Not frame-wise, but... One of those bucks you dream about. One of those ones you see in the old bars up here with the old droopy beam and the mass. Yeah, I love that beam on the on the left side. Oh my gosh, dude. I mean, that's, that's what we dream about right there. You know you missed the bounty buck literally I by know. this much. It yeah. would have been perfect. You just bust that off a little lower. Six, I mean, six on the right, five on the left. Yeah. Yeah, he's uh, he's big though. Yeah. I thank Mitch and Dad for coming and helping me over here and oh, celebrating God. with me. And I appreciate the the gentleman that was hunting down at the end of the ridge here. He had actually seen him and uh, didn't have a real good shot, so he didn't take the shot and he made it to me. And I was fortunate enough to make a shot on him. But uh, yeah, now hopefully the rest of the season can be good and we can get some more. Let's hope so. Definitely. Uh, not something I ever thought would happen, and it's not really sunk in yet. No. <sighs> it's crazy, dude. Good That's shooting, nice. buddy. Thank you. Let's get some more. Let's hope so. <clears throat> deer right there. He like ran right at your blade and I'm like, what the fuck? You shot it. Well, I, I saw it for like a second and it was gone. I saw it, I heard it. I was like, well, that's not Mike. Like, that sounds like bounding and I look out the window. It's fucking bounding down the hill. Like, stop, 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 never stop. <sighs> well, what happened, Jake? I missed a doe. Four of them that I could see. They, uh, for some reason, decided to side hill the mountain instead of using the bottom or the top. And of course, they come right between the blinds where me and Mike have the hard time seeing. Literally, I'm right there, watching down that way. Jake's right there, watching down that way. I can only see to, like, right on the other side of these down trees here, this bottom part. And they came up, somewhere right here must have come up. And they were standing right up here somewhere when he shot. Yep, smells like a mist. <sighs> yeah, I saw five traps doing exactly that. Roadhunters. Yep. 
All right, <clears throat> we just got back to the truck with all of our gear. We got the buck gutted out and left it in the bottom. He's way closer to the next road than he was to where the truck is. So we're gonna head up around there with the truck and and uh, that's a nice looking rig. That deer carrier seen better day. So we're gonna head up in the next road. And we got a pin drop where he is. So we're gonna go ahead and get him out. It'll be probably like a 150 yard drag compared to like three quarters of a mile. Yeah. That'll be more than 150, 300 yards compared to three quarters of a mile. So. Funny thing. All right, so we shed some layers and down to my skippers. A lot of Mitch had pants. But uh, we're gonna get this big joker out of here. And uh, that one is still as big as I remember him being. I think he's bigger. <laughs> Growing on you? Yeah. So <clears throat> we're gonna go get him in the truck and uh, see if we can't get Mitch a box. Right, Mitchie? See, hopefully. Go ahead. I need to At least uh, Nick got that nice one today this morning. So we'll see. Hang on. Well, pretty slow over here on this end. <clears throat> seen the deer yet. Um, Nick got that big buck. Hit another buck. And, uh, I believe last I heard Mitch and no oh, no, I just dropped my sandwich. Mitch and uh, Nicholas were tracking it. Uh, Dad Dad saw a doe. Mom saw that buck this morning on the food plot right away. Jake saw four does. And uh, unfortunately missed one. I have not heard from Pooh Bear or Uncle Nut yet. Um, I know. I have had nothing since that wolf came through this morning. I say it came through came to me. But uh no, you can't ask for much better weather. It's it's beautiful here. So we'll see. Warm my sandwich up and uh kick back and just keep scanning back and forth. Padre here. Know, what is Padre? Is that mean father? Padre, yeah. Okay, not my Padre, my companion. There's a beehive right there. Yeah, I'm working on a window. That's cool. What is 
So we tracked that deer for a long ways, miles. Never had real good blood. There's a lot of pin drops. When he would stop, the congregation of everywhere was just drop, 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 drop. So the best we can come up with is that I brisket shot him or tore him open across the bottom. Like a lot of times a wounded deer will turn and you know circle back around to, to cover its back trail and never did that it just kind of kept going in a, a certain direction and we got to where we lost blood and we I mean from there we combed and we covered a lot a lot of ground I mean we put hours on this trying to find it and my gut's telling me it's a non-fatal hit so I'm hoping he's still out there for another hunter to get. Hopefully. In the meantime, we're back in the stand in Mitch's spot. He's got fresh scrapes on the trail in front of him here. They didn't know we're here. So hopefully uh, one of them big old Northwoods bucks comes sneaking through here tonight. He might come right down the trail right to us. Oh, that'd be sweet, yeah, huh? Be perfect, wouldn't it? Right down the barrel. Right down here. He'd be able to film me. That'd be pretty sweet. It don't have to be a big buck. It could be a spike or not shoot it. Alrighty. We'll catch you if there's any action. Legs. Watching. Watching else and I seen him. But by the time and the only time he paused is really he was looking, he feel like he was looking right up at me as I was trying to get the gun Sure. Out. So and I probably could have taken a but not, ship not, shot, a, good but shot. not a good shot. I told Nick Hi, did, to what do you estimate his weight to be? Oh, I'm 200 plus. Oh, 180 plus. I think 200 plus. Oh, a double God. matching split there. Yeah, that's nice. Freaking mass on him. Look how close he was to being the bounty buck. That If that was broke off a, little, a, quarter, a quarter inch more, it would barely like be in my yep. So that must have happened when he was in velvet because the way it's yeah. back. So, yeah. Can you explain to me? How someone looks at this and thinks it's a little one? Yeah. He said he came out of the pines, I was just standing there looking at him. And he, he, said, he, he put the gun up and he had it on its chest, and he's like, well, I don't want to shoot right there. It dipped in the pines, like, oh crap, it's gone. And he's like, I knew it was going to go to you. He's like, I figured, he's like, I was hoping that you'd seen me put my gun up so you knew something was coming. The guy was super cool. Mm -hmm. Look yeah, at how neat this is. That, that heavy and that many points? That's got to be the biggest one that's been gotten up here, right? That's the biggest one. Yeah. The biggest that guy said that's the biggest buck he's ever seen up here. How wide do you think that is? 16 and 3 quarters. Almost 17. Inches. It doesn't look that way. Like, no, it's it's so thick just, and heavy. It's so huge. Over 10 inches on all the times. Is that right? Well, get the chains on, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I just figured this one would be a little bit. Right. Oh, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Anybody hear anything from Boo Bear? Let's go down. Sure. Uh, put, it the, put it in the middle more. Put it in the middle more. Crank up. Okay. Something to. Pipe or. Something to separate it? Yep. Just look at it. Good lord, dude. Grandpa Gary would be smiling down right now. I like my